kind of bigger team guy on this team than you. But when things start to go like they have with your four in a row, how does that challenge that team in the locker room? I mean, it's, you know, it's a tough pill to swallow, and it's, it's hard to tell guys, you know, keep your hands up and let's, let's keep fighting through. It's hard it's hard to, to, to push the yah yah on your speech. You know, it's, it's tough, but, you know, you got to do it. You know, you know, I mean, what do you have to lose? You know, we can't just, we can't just give up. You know, we lost four in a row. You know, we lost some games we should have won, but you know, at the end of the day, we gotta give that yah yah speech, and we gotta keep continuing to play. We gotta continue to play, play hard, and, and go out there every week expecting to win and, and, and trying to win. You know, we can't give up no matter how bad the situation looks. Now, now that you're out of the South Race, what do you play for? What's your motivation? Play for the seniors. You know, we play play for the guys next to us. Play for the team. We play for play for a ball game, of course. You know, but that's that's what we play for. You know, the seniors and the guys next to us. What do you think? What happened in this game? How do you settle that? Um, I gotta give I gotta give credit to those guys. They they came ready to play in defense and in offense, and they're a great, great team. And you know uh, we we had some some you know some some bad calls, some some miscommunication, some mess ups on offense and defense. But I mean they, they, they just outplayed us today. You know we had a lot of takeaways, but you know, it's going to show that we gotta continue to play hard and we gotta do our job. Well, there's a lot of talk about it. I'm sorry about SC. You know five star recruits, they get the best athletes. Do you notice? on the field, just the difference, maybe athletically, physically, because they're supposed to have the top guys? Uh, you know, honestly, I always, always, we always, we always had a debate on the team about the five-star guys. You know, that, to, me, to, to me, that stuff doesn't really mean anything to me. You know, I was a two-star coming out of high school, you know, and I, and I believe I can go over there and play with anybody, you know, so none of that, none of that means nothing to me. None of that just goes off a hype. It goes off of who you know, rather than your talent, honestly, you know, and uh, but I respect those guys and know uh, plan plan for a program like that that will develop you and, and get you, you know, get you playing to your full potential. I know that for a fact. You have a thought on Marquis Lee? Uh, he's a great he's a great receiver, you know, one of the one of the best in the game. I respect his game. He, he's a he's a great receiver and a great guy, you know. And he's only a sophomore, he's young, you know. He, he's good. He's good. Colin, you guys played some costly mistakes in the last few weeks penalties as a defense. Do you see that as one of the big differences between what you are now and what you guys want to be? Uh, yeah, penalties. Yeah, penalties. You know, we, we've been getting more penalties on defense. You know, but uh, it's just it's just the little things that we gotta you know that we gotta stay focused on and, and worry about. You know, and uh, we gotta get back to, to who we are. You know, and no penalties, no one one penalty a game at, at, at best. You know, so we gotta get back to, to doing those things. Final question. Before they got blown down by a whistle, and I knew they were in that same play. So I told um, I told Anthony Jones, I said, you know, when they run that play, and I'm gonna take your man, you take my man, and I'm gonna go pick the ball off. And they did the same play, Barkley threw, and I went and picked it off. And I was just, I was, I was gonna make sure I'm getting to that end zone. Back at home, I just, I just knew how to get to that end zone.